Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. It took a number of years before my mother stopped asking me to wear dresses and stopped wondering if I was going to end up with a man. She asked me why I didn't want to get married, which confused me because I did want marriage, I just didn't want to marry a man. We've been talking to LGBTQ young people, their most common question has been, how do I come out to my parents, or I've come out to my parents and I need help talking to them now, they need help talking to me, what do I do? We found books that were written in a more clinical approach, but we didn't find anything using our brand of dialoguing, you know, just being matter of fact and honest and open and saying it's gonna be okay and we can talk about this and like everything's cool. I wondered how things might have been different if my mother had known the effect her words would have on me? Did she know how it felt to be asked, why don't you ever want a family? Maybe a book like this would have helped our conversations, if even just a little bit. I think that's what a lot of parents want, is they just want their kid to be happy. And when you come out, it like kind of shifts that image that's in your head. As a parent, you have this view of your kid, and then when they come out, they can't visualize it. So I think, you know, taking that time, and if you make mistakes, um, Forgiving yourself and being able to take a step forward to be like, I love you, I support you, I want you to be happy. I'm just scared and I don't understand everything. Over time, the yelling calmed into a dialogue. She allowed herself to meet my girlfriend. Our conversations progressed and she began to ask me questions. I think that the bottom line is that parents need to know that it's okay to have questions and it's okay to mess up. You know, it's not the easiest thing to have a kid who comes out to you if you don't know a lot about the LGBTQ community. That's the bottom line. And so if you don't know, you just need to seek out that information. And that's what our book does. It sort of is a starting point for you to put your toes in the water of LGBTQ and get to learn a little bit about what you're wondering about and also what your kid is going through. The first few years were very hard. My mother and I fought a lot. She cried a lot and I yelled even more. Through all of it though, we never stopped loving each other. I did have a lot of difficulty coming out to my family and my dad was always okay, like if you're happy, I'm happy. But my mom was raised in a really religious household and so it took us a decade worth of conversation, crying, yelling, and dialoguing to really get to a point where now we're on wonderful terms. But we definitely had to struggle in the beginning. Slowly, girlfriends were invited over for dinner and my mother and I found common ground amid differing beliefs. And the truth of the matter is, I don't even look at Kristen as being gay. I just, she's Kristen. Kristen has always been Kristen. So, and that, and I told her that. And I love her very, very much. And I would support her till my dying day. The thing about coming out is that it isn't one moment at a Thanksgiving dinner table. It's a process that takes patience, understanding, and compassion. It's different for everyone. All we can do is share as much of ourselves as we feel comfortable with and work diligently at accepting who we are with or without the understanding of those around us. <laughs>